Hello everyone! Today I'm going to share with you a website that is used for digital note taking and also how you could use Google Docs for the same purpose. The name of the website is called scribble.com. Uh, you need to create an account and if you don't have one it's free to sign up for one. Once you sign up and create an account, all you need to do is to install the Scribble toolbar. This is what the website of scribble.com looks like. So I'm just going to show you how you could uh, sign in or sign up for an account with scribble.com. It's very easy, like any other uh, website where you need to sign in and you need to just enter your email uh, information and create a password. Once you have created the account, you get to a page like this. And all you need to do now is just install the Scribble toolbar. Once you install it, you are asked if you want to add the extension and of course you click on yes that you do and then you would have on the upper right side of the screen, you would see that your Scribble uh, toolbar is available for you as soon as you click on the icon with the letter S uh, in the red box, you would see that a uh, toolbar would appear in whatever web page you are uh, visiting. So let's see how it could be used in your classroom. It could be used in various ways, but I'm going to share with you one way of how I use it. I use it as a reading and digital note taking group work activity and I do it while uh, I assign for each group a different task. For example, each group is given a set of instructions that they need to follow and perform. And the instructions are basically uh, things they need to edit or make changes with their web page and the text that they uh, go to on that web page. For example, as you can see here, you, I'm just sharing two cards that I have uh, done with my learners. One of them is, for example, a story about Little Red Riding Hood that they read on an online website. And they need to, while reading, they need to underline, for example, any nouns. They need to highlight three uh, new vocabulary words in blue. They need to change the color of words about people to red. Uh, they need to change the color of verbs to green. Uh, they need to add an orange sticky note to any useful phrases that they would like to remember. These cards are also available right below this YouTube in the video description box for you to download and use also with your learners. Let's look at the example of performing the task of Little Red Riding Hood. Once they go into the site that I assign them, and the site is available also right below this YouTube video in the description box, they need to work in groups and with their group, they need to perform the different tasks they have. So once they add the uh, toolbar of uh, Scribble, they get to make changes with the online website and any changes they make are automatically saved as an account within their Scribble uh, account. Once you click on the upper right icon on the web screen, the toolbar would appear and you start to work with the toolbar. So now I'm working in the head of a student in the group and the first thing I need to do with the card that I'm given is underline any nouns. So if I click on the toolbar below, I have the option of uh, underlining any uh, nouns. So this is what I'm going to do right now in front of you. As you can see, I'm underlining any new nouns. The next thing the students need to do is highlight three new vocabulary words in blue. So over here they have another option that they could do is choose the highlighter and choose a different color for the highlighter they want to highlight the words in. And in this case they need to choose blue and they need to highlight three new vocabulary words. As a group the next thing the students need to do is color uh, words about people to red.
Then the following task they have on the card is to change the colour of verbs to green. So I'm just going to do one example so we can move on with other tasks that they need to do. Then the final task they need to do is add an orange sticky note to any useful phrases that they would like to remember. For example, here students might add a sticky note to the phrase once upon a time. So now let's assume that the group has finished the task. All they need to do is just click on the X button and exit the whole website. And whatever they have done with the website is automatically saved to their Scribble account. So what I do is I create an account and I open the uh, web pages for my learners within the uh, computer room and they work with the uh, tasks they have and they don't need to save anything, they just exit the whole site and it is automatically saved within my uh, Scribble account and I could access it later on and check if they have performed the task uh, accurately or not. I explored a similar way uh, of using uh, the same method of digital note taking, but instead of using it with online web pages, I adapted it to Google Docs. And the reason why I did this is because I wanted to use uh, text that learners work with within the classroom framework. And uh, all you need to do is know how to create a shared Google Doc. If you don't know, you just click on the link that is over here projected on the screen and you would be directed to another YouTube video where I explain how to create a shared Google Doc. So I'm going to share with you exactly how I did it. This is uh, a text from the course book that my learners use. I just typed it into a Google Doc page. And uh, for this, I created another card with different tasks that students need to perform. So to perform the task, all you need to do is type in the text that you want your learners to work with in a Google Doc page. And you have the similar options of what you could do with a Scribble toolbar. For example, you have the underline option of words. You, you can change the font of words. You could highlight words. You could change the color of uh, words and so on. So uh, this is what my learners got to do. After learning the text, my friend and I uh, my learners were expected to perform a task uh, uh, in groups and they needed to highlight, for example, pronouns or color nouns or highlight uh, verbs and so on. So they performed it in groups. And what's nice about Google Docs as well is that it is, whatever uh, changes are made or uh, to the text or coloring or any editing work that is done to the text is again automatically saved. So that means the students do not need to save anything. They just need to perform the task and everything they do is automatically saved. I really hope you found the digital note taking activity very uh, interesting and motivating for your learners to perform and what's nice about it is they get to collaborate and work together and review different aims that you wish to set for your uh, learners and that you would be able to try it out within the framework of your classroom. So thank you for watching everyone.